continue to expose the wrongdoings that he's done, and we're going to continue to try to elevate Lafayette to the city it's supposed to be. Tonight, questions remain after the co-chair of the recall petition against City Marshal Brian Pope was arrested. That arrest coming on warrants that date back 20 years. According to those warrants, Steve Wilkerson wrote bad checks at four businesses. Two of those businesses no longer exist. And tonight, City Marshal Brian Pope is defending that arrest. Three's on the street, Justice Henderson with the story from the City Marshal's office. Justice. Jim, I'm outside of City Marshal Brian Pope's office where I've spent most of today trying to get answers. Those answers behind why the co-chair of the Brian Pope recall petition was arrested last night at his home. Steve Wilkerson says his arrest came as a huge shock. 5.30ish or so last night after hours from the Marshal's office, uh, two of the deputies arrived at my house saying that they had a warrant for my arrest for checks that I allegedly wrote in 1997. I haven't seen these checks and if it's quite possible that I did write a check that I'm unaware of, but it has never until last night been brought to my attention. We attempted to speak with Marshall Pope today, but we were told he was unavailable. KETC later received a press release from his office stating in part, our authority in this action is a state statute, general powers and duties of the marshal and deputy marshal. But Wilkerson says he has his own thoughts as to why he was arrested on a 20 year old warrant. I can only speculate as to why it happened yesterday. Uh, I do know that the campaign ended yesterday, perhaps the, the marshal's office uh, felt a little bolder and that, that this campaign had ended. Uh, also, it's been brought to my attention that yesterday was Brian Pope's birthday, so perhaps this was a birthday gift to Marshall Pope. Now, Wilkerson does have a court hearing coming up in January that he says he will be in attendance to. He said that he will make any restitution as long as the court can provide documentations of these checks. Live in Lafayette, Justice Henderson, KTC TV3. And several unanswered questions. We've asked how often the marshal uses his powers to execute 20-year-old misdemeanor arrest warrants. We also want to know who called for the warrants against Wilkerson to be executed and why now. So far, no response to those questions.